you know, it wasn't easy getting here. I spent nearly three straight hours trying to figure out. At first, the mods would not even show up. Even I trying a lot of things to run a repo with the mods, the mods is not there. Then, when they finally did, some of them were broken, racing my game over and over. And just when I thought I fixed everything, multiplier just refused to work. Server not found, mods not loading, and of course, variable signal during the match. It felt like every little thing was trying to stop me. But after some serious trial and error, and a lot of patience, I finally made it work. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of CB channel and today is different with the last time which is we normally to make a video about Terraria or Team Auto. We are going to show you how to set up and play repo in multiplayer with the mods. I create this video in a simple and easy way as I can. So if you still confused, feel free to comment to my video sections or join to my Discord server so we can fix the problem and figure out what's the problem you have. This video will guide you through everything from installing the mods, fixing a problem, to setting up a multiplayer, so you won't have to face the same issue I did. But before we start, if you find this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. It really support me to make more video like this. Here we are, let's get started. So the first thing you need to have is repo by simi and then you need to have application like steam so you can play together with your friends inside steam server next you must to have winrar for extracting some file because it need winrar or 7-zip and then you must to have connection in your pc or laptop because some of installation need them and one last thing is checklist file name extension after that just extracting this file using a winrar and choose extract here and after that open the folder and you will see there is a two file other files and repo click other files and then you will see r2 mod click the folder again and you will see there is a r2 mod man and you just need to install this like a normal but if you already have you can skip this part after you install just open r2 mod man and choose repo you can use a default profile and just go to the setting after that, you will see there is a BAP pack folder. Open the folder and copy all of this file. Now go to the repo folder and paste it here. After that, you will see there is a repo application. You need to create a shortcut in the repo and after that you can name anything you want. And after that, you need to open list.txt and you will see there is a instruction custom.net. You must to change the custom.net like this. Next, open the Steam and you must to put the repo.application on the Steam as a non-Steam game. After that, you can open the R2 mod man again. Let's we install some mods. For example, like IKEA. I think you guys already know what is this. This mod is designed to allow us touch more furniture item in this game. Now you need to go to the change repo folder, click, and then you need to find where is the repo application location now go
go to the set launch application in the set launch application we will see there is an instruction mode copy all of them and then go to the folder of repo and go to repo shortcut right click and go to the properties and we'll see there is a target give a space after the instruction and paste the instruction you already copy from the add to mod man in here after that just click apply on ok all right guys now let's go back to the add to mod man since we cannot run the mod directly from the repo we need to use this trick which is we need to trigger them from the air to mod man by click launch model and it will send you to the steam and it will show you the notification like this you don't need to care about the text just go to the repo folder and now you need to run the shortcut we already read and after that the command prompt will appear that's mean your mods is already run As you can see here now the IKEA mod is working in the single player but there is still one thing you need to know when you go into the host game or join game you cannot to play and it will send you the problem like this authentication problem so you must to make a little bit to change to allow the mod be able to play in multiplayer now you just need to copy only location from the set custom logic parameter and then now you go to the file explorer and in the file location you must to paste the location in here and click enter it will send you to the location we already set and now you must to go back and click the folder called as plugin in the plugin you must to go to the other files and in the other files you will see there is a photon.dl copy the script and then paste in the plugin folder now you must to trigger the game only once just run and then close and when you see the red text like this that's mean your script is already working after that we go back to the plugin folder and now we go to the next plugin folder that is a config folder click it and find button right direct and click the script and it will show you the instruction like this you will see there is a button application id so you must to go to the button website and you can use every search engine you want must to sign up login and now you must to make a create new application make sure it's multiplayer now you can rename anything you want and the most important thing is copy the ID from the application you already create and paste to the button right direct in here like this so when you run the repo one more time and you go to the host game or join game now you can access the server and you can see the speed of the game now the connection is good and you can access the server remember the server you access is the server where you put the button id so if you are the host give the id to your friends so everyone can join to your server
the IKEA mods is already in the server so it's showing the game is working so I can play multiplayer and also with the mods and I think that's all of my tutorial how to set up repo for multiplayer with mods that's it guys thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe like and also please share this video to your friends or family thanks for watching see you in the next video bye